Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Major Corinne Kennedy of the Rhode Island Army National Guard. I'm the Behavioral Health Officer for the Rhode Island Army Medical Detachment. I'm here because I just want to focus on sleep hygiene a little bit. During this stressful time period, we need to make sure that we are resting enough to keep our immune system well and for those who are essential personnel that they're ready to go out there and help um, anybody with a coronavirus in different types of missions around the state or in the hospital. So the important thing about sleeping is, is that we need to get restful sleep because our body does a number of different things while we're sleeping. It helps repair our muscles. It helps get our nutrients to the right organs and throughout our whole entire body, as well as relax us and refresh us to be a fighting force when we wake up in the morning. Before you go to bed, you need to make sure you have a bedtime routine. We always talk and hear a lot about a morning routine of what you should do when you wake up to kind of get your day started, but we tend not to talk about our nighttime routine. So something to remember when we're preparing to go to bed is, is that you want to have a consistent bedtime. Our body really likes cycles, and those rest cycles are going to help us tire us at ourselves out and get us prepared to have a restful sleep. So you want to set a bedtime and make sure whatever bedtime that is, so we're going to use 10 o'clock for example, you go to bed every night between 10 o'clock and if you want to stay up a little bit later, no later than 11 o'clock p.m. at night. You want to stay within that hour range for your bedtime and you want it to be consistent. When we're prepping to go to bed, we want to make sure that we relax a bit. So turn off any of the screens so screens are going to be your TV, your cell phones, your Kindle, iPads, and all that stuff. Screens do a blue light rays, which mimics the sun rising and tells our body to start waking up in the morning. So to limit your screen time, you want to do that at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. And I know that could be a hard adjustment in this day and age, but try to limit it every time every night and work up to that 30 minutes prior to going to bed. Another way to kind of get your bedtime routine is have a hot cup of tea to kind of relax you. And also if you are kind of racing mind or having a lot of anxiety about what happened today or what's going to happen the next day, take a piece of paper, a notebook, anything, and just scribble down your thoughts for a few minutes that'll help relax your mind and put you at ease. So again, when we're getting our bedtime routine, we want to make sure we have a consistent bedtime and make it within that one hour of our bedtime, so being set. We also want to make sure that we're relaxing before we go to bed and that we're going to limit our screen time. I hope that is helpful and talk to you soon. Bye.